15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and lift off of FDA. Go FDA, go Falcon. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. We're now at T plus 40 seconds into the Space Development Agency Tranche Zero mission. Falcon 9 Power has and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 has throttled down its engines in preparation for Max Q, which is coming up here in just about 20 seconds or so. Max Q is the point at which the vehicle experiences the Falcon greatest 9 is supersonic. The greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure, the largest structural load on the vehicle on ascent. Max Q. Great news, we have passed through Max Q. We're also getting some awesome views of the first stage or the, the Falcon 9 vehicle on your screen. Now we do have five events coming up very quickly. That will be Miko. And back, engine chill has started. That will be Miko, stage separation, stage one flip, SES one, and then the boost back burn on the first stage will begin. As a reminder, we won't be showing any views of our second stage at the request of our customer today. And again, we will have Miko, our main engine cutoff. That's where we shut down all of those engines that you see lit up on your screen right now. We'll shut those down in preparation for stage separation. The first stage will- Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. The first stage will perform a flip maneuver and a boost back burn in order to start making its way back to its landing zone at land today. And the second stage will continue with igniting the MVAC engine. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Over. MVAC ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And we have just had all of those events. Miko, stage separation. You can see on your screen that the stage one vehicle is performing a flip maneuver. And the MVEC engine has ignited on the second stage. Again, we will not be showing any views of the second stage at the request of our customer today. But we should hear a call out for fairing separation here shortly. Fairing separation confirmed. And there's that call out. We have had confirmation of fairing separation. Right now you're seeing a very awesome view of the first stage vehicle currently in its boost back burn. Again, we are attempting to land back at land today on landing zone four. Stage one boost back shutdown. And there's that call out that the boost back burn has concluded. Now the vehicle is attempting to land back at land, so it requires three burns in order to get there. We've just concluded the boost back burn of the first stage. Both vehicles remain at nominal trajectories. Next up will be the entry burn around the T plus six minute mark, and then the final burn, which is the landing burn, uh, just about a minute after the entry burn. And you can see on your screen that the grid fins have deployed. Those help to guide the vehicle as it makes its way back to its landing zone. Now, if you've been following along, you might know that we typically attempt landing on our first stage on a drone ship in the middle of the ocean. Today, however, we do have the ability to land back on land, which is not too far from where we lifted off this morning. Our ability to execute a land landing is really dependent upon the needs of the mission, the trajectory, and the performance needed by the satellite determines if we can return to land. 
Now, most of the time, these requirements don't allow for a return to launch site landing attempt, which is why we developed the capability to land our first stages out in the ocean with our drone ships. But again, today, we do have this capability, so we are making our way back to land. Now, if you're just now joining us, we had a successful liftoff of Falcon 9 and the Space Development Agency Tranche Zero mission. As the mission name suggests, today's customer is SDA, or Space Development Agency. After an on-time liftoff, we had successful main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, stage separation, stage one flip, second stage engine start one, the boost back burn, and fairing separation from the second stage. We are now coming up on the second burn on our first stage vehicle, which is the entry burn. Just about 30 seconds away from that entry burn beginning. The entry burn is where we light up three of the nine engines on the first stage vehicle. And that helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. What you're seeing on your screen is a awesome view looking from the first stage vehicle, you may see some of those white puffs there on your screen. That is nitrogen gas. And that is from our attitude control systems that helps to Take orient entry burn startup. That helps to orient the vehicle. And there you can visually see on your screen that the entry burn has begun. We've reignited three of nine M1D engines. This burn is just about 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. And stage, with, stage one FDS is saved. With that call out, and you can visually see on your screen that the engines have shut down, that concludes the entry burn on the first stage. Coming up next, in just under 20 seconds, will be the landing burn. This is a single engine burn. This is enough thrust, 190,000 pounds of thrust, to enable the vehicle to touch down for landing. Stage one transonic. Stage one landing burn. And the landing burn has begun. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on landing zone four. Stage one landing leg deploy. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing confirmed. And a great view. Falcon 9 has touched down on landing zone four. And there you can see it standing tall right there on your screen. This was the second launch and landing for the specific booster and our 183rd overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket. And that includes both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy first stage landings. With confirmation of a successful landing, we'll be ending our webcast for the Space Development Agency Tranche Zero mission today. We want to thank the SDA for entrusting us with today's launch and a special thanks to the Range and the Federal Aviation Administration for licensing support. For all of those tuning in, thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.